Hello YouTube, Kyle Kupchak, vocalist of CZYK, an up and coming band you should check out, link in the description, yo, I know it's been a little bit, I've been very busy with my personal life, work, etc, but I have literally been waiting, I haven't, besides the singles for Eternal Blue, I have waited for every other fucking song to listen to it until I reacted to it, so you're welcome. <laughs> But I'm so fucking hyped. I've been meaning to listen to this album. I mean, I fucking bought their shirt at Blue Ridge Rock Festival. And speaking of, they fucking killed it. They were insane. Uh, I won't get too far into it. But basically, the festival, they for the stage that Spirit Box was playing in, they had this huge barricade that should not have been that big uh, called the Gro Golden Circle Pass. And... Uh, only people with that pass was able to go into the barricade, get like to the front of the stage, and where general people should have stood, whatever. They started with Holy Roller. Bruh. <laughs> Everyone fucking blew the barricade over and were jumping over it when Holy Roller came in. It was insane. It was probably the highlight of the festival, honestly, because Spirit Box is amazing. And of course once the holy roller energy started rolling in everyone was going fucking nuts so that makes sense but regardless i'm gonna stop talking sun killer i don't know what to expect every fucking single i listen to every single day i fucking love it and i can't wait to hear the rest of the album so without further ado let's fucking go This is like the perfect way to start the album, honestly. the atmosphere they created so far. The melody line is so haunting. I love it. Courtney's amazing. Oh shit. I'm so scared. It's about to hit. Oh. 
Rip me a new asshole. God. Courtney, what the fuck? <laughs> it almost went to hurt you. Well, there you have it. Sun Killer, Spirit Box Eternal Blue album. Go check it out. Honestly, I think it was a really fucking solid opening track for the album. Like, I think it fit perfectly and it really set the mood and then it abruptly cuts into hurt you that's terrifying whoever listens to the album for the first time and hears that they're like oh my god run which an another note hurt you was fucking banger live um but we're not here for hurt you sun killer so obviously compared to to every other song that's been released so far that that's the lowest of them all which keep in mind there is not one song that spirit box has released so far that i haven't disliked and i know i'm pretty sure with hurt you and secret garden i was like hesitant first i i listen to every single every single day so yeah that changed <laughs> really fast um but i mean Honestly, with this track, I would have to say the ambience uh, took the MVP. I, I like. I wish I knew Spirit Box and who like does the ambient stuff and asked like, how the fuck do you do that? And same with like Star Set too. Like, I really want to find out the programs that they are using to create these atmospheres because it sounds so fucking sick and clean too. And with Sun Killer, I think. They created the perfect atmosphere for the opening of the album. Courtney's vocals were just fucking awesome. I didn't hear anything too crazy with the guitars, but they slapped regardless. That breakdown blew me a new penis. Loved it. <laughs> but, I mean, overall, Sun Killer was a pretty solid-ass song. It's probably one I would skip over if I went to this album to go listen to it. I like yet again i think it might be a grower it seems like a lot of songs lately have been that way for me where the first time doesn't really hit me but once i like listen to it in my car full blast and shit and also it depends on the mood too so it's a whole thing but one more thing before i go the breakdown we oui, we oui, je ne sais quoi and courtney's melodies were fucking so sick it was very haunting i loved every second of it so i'm gonna leave this reaction here sun killer spirit box eternal blue album you love to fucking see it if you haven't make sure to like dislike subscribe hate me whatever you want to do i'm the vocalist of a metal band called czyk make sure to check us out down in the description below if you want something heavy metal listen to our song cracked or the void if you want something depressing and sad, listen to our song Everlasting Nightmare. And if you want something to rock, listen to our songs All I Know or Give It Time. And that's all I got for you. Peace.